Today is June 23rd, 2016, and this is the Utah Fire Restriction Update brought to you by your interagency wildfire partners. Things are looking much differently than they were two weeks ago. Temperatures are hotter, fuels are drier, and that has prompted some new restrictions. Southwestern Utah, or color country as it's known by wildfire agencies, has entered fire restrictions now. And so that's throughout Washington County and in parts of Beaver and Iron Counties. Specifically, uh, here's the area that we're talking about. All of Washington County and all areas west of Interstate 15 in Beaver and Iron Counties. So that includes all BLM lands, National Forest lands, National Park Service, including Zion National Park and Pipe Springs National Monument. It also includes unincorporated privately owned land. So that means all private lands outside of town or city limits. Uh, for restrictions inside town and city limits, you can contact your fire department. It includes all state administered lands, including SITLA and wildlife management areas and state parks. It includes Bureau of Indian Affairs lands, uh, trust lands of the Shivwitz, Cedar, Indian Peaks, and Kaibab Band reservations. So uh, that's, again, all areas in Washington County, all areas inside of Beaver and Iron Counties west of I-15 that are basically outside of city limits, town limits. And so uh, here are the restrictions uh, and the activities uh, that are covered in the closure. Igniting, building, maintaining any kind of fire, and that includes campfire, warming fire, uh, charcoal, briquettes, any outside fire um, that is not contained in a, a structure provided by a land management agency in a designated area. So your basic fire pit that's, that's uh, you know, a brick structure or a uh, steel pipe structure that's, that's uh, down uh, into the uh, ground or built up on a, uh, like a barbecue type stand in those designated areas or uh, developed recreation sites, campgrounds, picnic areas, common areas, uh, permanent places of habitation. So basically a home, okay? Um, home or a place that's permanently lived in uh, that are maintained and, and administered by uh, the homeowner, uh, homeowners association and so forth. And you know, if you've got that permanent fire structure, then, then this is not restricted. And of course, any stove or grill that's powered by propane or other liquid petroleum fuels, not included. But so no campfires, no other type of fire outside of a permanently manned spot. So here's, here's kind of the crux of that. Uh, all recreation areas that have these types of things are, are not going to be covered in the closure. Um, you know, check if there are any localized restrictions. But if you're, for example, on a national forest day use area and there's a fire pit there, this restriction doesn't apply to that. So unless there's anything specifically local there, you're, you're good. Um, if you are at your home where you live, permanently and you've got a fire pit that meets specifications um, including any you know, an 18 inch depth and uh, a screen that can go over top of it and so forth you know that's not covered in the restriction either you're allowed to do that now if it's just a, a, a part-time cabin and you've got this fire structure that is not covered you're going to be restricted in a, in a situation like that um, so if you have any questions you can always contact your, your local fire warden but um, Moving on from campfires, which is the main part of the restriction, we also have restrictions on uh, discharging or using any type of fireworks in the uh, unincorporated private land uh, because uh, it's always prohibited on state and federal lands. You're never allowed to use fireworks any time of the year on federal lands or, or state lands. Next one is, is using or operating any internal uh, or external combustion engine without a spark arresting device properly installed and maintained. And uh, next one is detonating explosives, incendiary or chemical devices, pyrotechnics or exploding targets, uh, tracer ammunition, which is always prohibited throughout the state of Utah. And, and of course, exploding targets are included in this restriction. Cutting, welding, uh, grinding metal in areas of dry vegetation. We've already had some fires this year caused by someone cutting some metal pipe. Um, and then the last one is, is smoking, except in a, in an enclosed vehicle or building or in a developed recreation site, areas that have a minimum of uh, three feet in diameter cleared down to mineral soil. So that, that's it for the activities restricted. And just to remind you on that area, all of Washington County and the western parts of Iron and Beaver counties. The West Desert District of the BLM also has a couple of restrictions you should know about. And I'll mention them briefly and refer you to the website up in the comments section there. 
the BLM in the West Desert District has a few areas where it's restricted um, with regards to exploding targets. And, and that one's a year-round restriction, and there's also a seasonal fire prevention order. And, and the most notable part of that one is a restriction against using steel core, steel jacketed, or steel tipped ammunition in some of those areas. And you can find out more about where those areas are and where the, the target shooting restrictions are and where you can and can't go by clicking the link above. And so right now there aren't any other uh, widespread fire restrictions throughout the state, but there are some discussions about restrictions in both Box Elder and Summit counties. Those discussions are ongoing and things could be finalized by maybe the first week of July. Now, uh, even if you're not in an area where restriction or closure order is in place, remember there are places where campfires are okay and places where they're not. So check with your district ranger's office, your BLM district office, your camp host, etc., to make sure that where you're planning to have a fire is okay and allowed. All over Utah right now, things are becoming increasingly dry. Fire danger is increasing daily. And in areas where fire restrictions aren't in place, please ensure that your campfire is completely out before you leave it. So drown it, stir it, do it again, and leave, you know, leave the area with your fire completely extinguished. So uh, that about covers it for our, our wildfire restrictions update. Another update like this one will be issued right here on July 1st or as soon as any other restrictions go into effect. And always remember, one less spark means one less wildfire.